Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career Farquhar Freights, a subsidiary of SD Logistics. You join us in sunny Plymouth where we left off from the live stream before and uh, we need to go find ourselves a job so let's get going. So we're currently making our way through Plymouth Town towards sort of town centre by the looks of it. And uh, we've got ourselves a fresh fruit and veg job. We're going to deliver some grapes, so we're going to go and pick those up. And uh, I believe we're going to be taking those to Portsmouth, so Plymouth to Portsmouth. So we've done a little, a little trip along the south coast of the Great British Isle. Lovely little town. It's been uh, built really, really quite nice, I think. I've been here before on uh, the previous series. I think we've done a little bit of uh, Plymouth. No doubt headed into France or even a, a long ferry trip into Spain, I think, once. Yeah, very, very. Uh, very floral. Nice, nice bit of colour to it. I think we're alright for fuel. We won't stop off for fuel today. Or oh, not yet, anyway. We might do it later on today, who knows. But we, we, we look like we're good. Well, traffic coming through town was absolutely horrific, and I think we stopped at every single red light as we came through. And then there was uh, quite a, a backup of traffic at the uh, the roundabout, just was coming to the industrial estate. So I think we're just going to jump to the uh, the Loden from there, because I think that was <laughs> that was 10, 10, 10, 15 minutes that maybe we don't need. But we are now en route to Portsmouth. Hopefully the traffic will have died down for us. That was uh, that was that was crazy. I've had a few trips like that on my uh, my secondary profile that I sometimes jump on, and uh, yeah, I had a day in Spain uh, a week or two ago. Now it would have been, and the traffic was crazy. I did put some screenshots up in Discord for that one because it was it was mad, absolutely mad. Now, it has been noted by some of the guys in the VTC that I don't always look left and right. And I'm sure it's been noticed by a few, few of the other viewers as well. So I'm going to try and be more mindful of moving my head rather than just rather than just using the eyes. I, I told them on stream the other day that if, if there's nothing there as I'm approaching, as I look, then I'm generally just going to keep rolling. But as, as they pointed out, that's, that's not really how you do it in real life. It's not. It's not. So we'll uh, we'll try and be more mindful of the look left and right as I come up on junctions. I am uh, I'm terrible for just sort of rolling through. That's that's the problem. Keep left. Yeah, still got a fair old bit of traffic. I hope, hope everyone's well. Hope you're enjoying the series. It's been going pretty well, I think. Um, not just for me in, in how well we're progressing, and I think we are, but also uh, feedback from, from you guys. And so it seems, you know, reasonably popular out of my content that's, that's on the channel at the minute, so that's good. As I said before, we might, if it, if it really does pick up, we might do more than one one run a week um, but I really enjoyed doing the live stream last Sunday uh, so for everyone that came and joined us for ETS2 live that, that was pretty cool it was a great chat with people and having people in there with us that gave us an opportunity to get out and do you know what was it? I think five jobs we, got to, we did five five deliveries which really does help with um Boosting the pennies and you know working towards 
completing the challenge of conquering Britain, you know, covering covering all the roadways, building up enough money to own all the garages and to uh, buy the trucks, hire the workers. We did manage to purchase a new truck, a new fleet truck, and hire a driver. They're now driving out of Newcastle for us. So I'm coming out there, sir. You need to slow down. And um, yeah, it's, it's gone well. It's gone well. I am, I am pleased. But yeah, I might. Tr I'm going to try and do that. I want. I'm not say frequent because it's not going to be frequent. I'm going to try and do that as often as I can with a live stream. Um, currently, with how things are, my, my partner very rarely has like a weekend off or a solid weekend where she can have like a day to rest to recuperate and do stuff for herself. And then for me to then, you know, take the piss and then have Sunday sitting at my <laughs> my PC. So but we'll see. We'll see what we can do because I'd like to do it more often. So it's a good way of progressing things along. It's a good way of getting some live feedback and, and just doing some different stuff. But the uh, the trucks are going well at the minute. We've we've got Snow Runner, which is you know doing okay for the for a game of its age and the niche that it is. And then obviously uh, Expeditions, you know, relatively new game, so that that did really good the first week or two. But that's still going along. We've got getting a lot of interest in that getting a lot of great feedback uh, to the people that are giving feedback on that one absolute legends I do appreciate it uh, that's what I'm always saying at the end of my videos and in my videos you know comments down below that's what it's for I like to know what people are thinking Obviously, it's a little bit more difficult with uh, the ETS series so we're, we're driving and um, you, you guys don't really get much saying in how we do that or where we go. But like I said, if there's any way you want us to try and go or something you like to do or something you'd like to see me do a bit different, um, I, I think I might look to get myself uh, a different trailer as well because all of our deliveries are sort of much the same. We're not getting anything really interesting. Um, I may see if I can get myself a little custom um, like liquid tank like that up in front. I'm not sure if I can do that, but I might try and do that. I've, I've I've done trailers and trucks before, so I might make a skin of my own. We can get out there and deliver some goods. It'll allow, like I say, allow us to just mix up a little bit rather than always having the refrigerator box on the back and always moving fish and meat and flowers and uh, medical supplies. Run something different, get some heavy machinery on there. I mean, we we could even drop the trailer off at home. I think I said that before, if we, if we head back to Norwich or to Cambridge I might drop the trailer back and um, leave that there for a bit and just head out and we'll uh, do some freight contracts rather than cargo contracts. We'll take the, the trailers and whatnot from the different companies as we're about. I like having the SD Logistics trailer. I didn't make this one and um, Chaotic Farmer hasn't been all that active in the SD logistics uh, Discord, so I might have to reach out to him and just see if he's got the uh, the PNGs of maybe the text or anything that he used, so I could then replicate that onto a tanker or onto a, a different sort of trailer. I wouldn't mind getting a flatbed for us as well, or a step to some some machinery deliveries and stuff like that. That would be nice, a nice little touch. So, should we have a little look at our, our deets? It's Thursday. I never even think what day it is when we're driving around and doing something, but it's Thursday today. It is um, 25 past 7. We are five hours away, estimated five hours away from delivery. It's 14 tons of grapes, is what it is. Uh, we're dropping this off at Portsmouth UPS. We picked it up from UPS. Um, I think as well with this trailer, we seem to just be getting a lot of UPS delivery. Sometimes it's UPS to Lidl's or UPS to Aldi or UPS to somewhere else, but there always seem to be like UPS deliveries. So I don't know, if we, put, if we get a different trailer on the back, we might get something else. Uh, it's 23,000, 23 and a half grand, so that's nice. 
they do offer us uh, 10 hours to deliver it. Like I said, we've got four hours. So we are doing doing well. Let's pop that away. Slow down a little. I've decreased uh, the stability of the truck and the uh, the trailer a little bit more just to make it a little bit harder to hang. I'm trying Turn to get it down as far as I sort of comfortably can. As I was saying to, to Rusty on stream the other day, sort of trying to force myself into driving a little bit better. Being that I'm not the best, <laughs> the best driver. Five south. I'm set on the middle lane for a bit. I think we'll be good there. Go straight. No rush. Just taking it easy. What's that shit? There must be someone coming down there. That one as well. As well, I'm, I'm sort of floating the idea in my head of doing some what I call silent runs. So it'll just I'll just put on a bit of music and, and do. Let me know what you think about that. Whether you'd whether you'd still be interested in me popping a bit of music on and, and just driving. I know my choices of music isn't always great, but it would afford you the opportunity if you wanted to stick your own music on or just you know I don't know how you how you would do it. But it's just so you can enjoy the journey, or have no music and just have a, a silent run of just the truck as it goes. Um, just to mix it up, something a bit different. Uh, I think I've said before, if if I do that, it's easier for me to do like back-to-back -back recordings because obviously doing it how I do it, um, I generally record one a week, maybe two a week, and I just have a little chat about what's been going on, talk about the channel, talk about me, talk about other games and, and, and things like that. So if I do too many close together, obviously run out of things to talk about. I don't live that, <laughs> that exciting of a life. So yeah, if you're interested in some, some silent running or some music videos, then uh, let me know down in the comments. Or, uh, better yet, if you're happy for me to just have a little chat, and then we just have silent, silent running for a few minutes as well, or whether that's a complete turn off. There's always this, this thing that you that get drummed in like right early on for people from creating videos is like never have no dead air never have silence always be doing this and then there's always that camera angle changes jump your camera cuts and stuff like that so you know that's that's not something i've ever really done the whole the cuts and stuff that's not me um but i am i am more than comfortable to sit here and drive and do i do it with snow runner on the hard mode series because it is an hour long episode and i just try and stick to the game in what we're doing and uh, just allow people to enjoy the game and to take it in. So sometimes we go periods of time with, uh, without a great deal of chat. If you're comfortable with that and there's something that you'd still still stay around and watch, let me know. If it's like something you definitely wouldn't and I would lose a, a regular viewer because of no chat, then uh, again, let me know. Because <laughs> I need to know what people, not only what they do like, but what they don't like. We are we are fighting with the algorithm at the minute. So whatever I can do to help help retain or engage people um, is uh, is best. It's best for me. It's best for my content. Like I've always said, I'd never have like a, a massive goal or, or or a wish to be a huge YouTuber. Quotation marks. Um, just a guy that likes playing his games. And I like sharing it, but I, you know, I want it to be worth my time as well. And I'd like to see a little bit of growth. And and lately that has been hard. As we all know, because I started off with the farming. I haven't dropped a farming video for a month. Doing other things. Uh, I did have someone comment uh, yesterday of me recording this. Uh, on one of the farming videos asking if I'd be making content for FS25. I, I will. I will be getting FS25 if it is FS25 when it comes. I will get the next farm sim game, I will play it, I will make content on it. But again, if like 22 didn't capture me the same as the previous ones did, um, instead of like forcing myself to play it, 
I'll, I'll, I'll take breaks from it so that it doesn't sort of you're gonna let me thank you very much so it doesn't sort of weigh on me or, or become a chore I, I do the truck I love the trucking but I find it harder to make content on trucking because it's just me talking about whatever um, but I could play I could happily play this probably more <laughs> than the the farming sometimes and the same with like snow runner and, and at the minute uh, expeditions I think I just sort of burnt myself out a little bit with 22 and I didn't even that's that's the sad thing I didn't play FS22 as much as I played FS19 or FS17 but maybe I don't know maybe even FS15 I know that <laughs> I played FS15 a lot because I got all the achievements twice <laughs> so I know I played FS15 quite a bit so I did it on console on 360 and on Xbox One so, yeah, I played, played a lot of that. And there was a lot of grinding in that, because on the console there was no mods, no cheating. No, if you wanted to make money, you had to do a lot of rinse and repeat. So, again, I'm not quite sure what it is about 22 that didn't quite do it for me. Because I was really looking forward to it. But after, I think after about 12 months, it sort of really... Really lost a little bit of interest. I think some of the maps are amazing, and, and then like it's that old thing of like because new maps come out so frequent now because everyone's making maps. I mean, I've got a map that I've, that I've starred so many times, and like and every, anyone and everyone's making mods and making maps. And but I think for an audience-wise, people want to watch see the new stuff. They will they like because I'm not big enough of a personality that people come and watch me for me not uh, some of you do and I uh, bless you for that thank you very much but a lot of people don't they come in to see the new map or see what there is and I think with my style of play forgot to look but we're good I've got traffic in my mirror that I can see they're still coming with me so they looked um, yeah so I think people lost interest very quickly in, in a lot of the maps I think some of them you know your obvious ones, your Carmston, your Court Farms and, and stuff like that, they they kept an audience and they were amazing maps. I didn't do any series on them because I felt it wasn't worth my time because of bigger channels. We're going to always like control the audience for them, if that makes sense. But we'll see, we'll see. I might, I might try something different with FS, the next FS game. Shorter challenges, maybe, or just a different style of doing it. I don't know. I have to have a good think about it, but there will there will be FS content. What's going on up here, people? Oh, that mini's being a dickhead. That's what's going on. <laughs> now everyone's thinking they can go wherever they want. Oh, dear. Yellow car. A lot of impatient traffic today. So I might even try and maybe squeeze in um, an evening stream for this. But like I've always said before as well, when it comes to the streaming of the uh, ETS or ATS, more, more so on the ETS, is that because I have it recorded, if I go live, I have to make sure we're caught up with all the record pre-recorded stuff. Because I, I, I could, but I'd hate to go live and then have two episodes come out after we go live that obviously were done before the live. That, to me, that makes no sense. I, uh, I like continuity, so to not have continuity in my own content just would drive me mad. Exit left. Get ready to turn right. Classic bit of rain. Just 
Did it get rain on your travels? Did you really travel through the UK? <laughs> Unless you come for that like two week spell in August where it doesn't rain. <laughs> Sometimes July is a bit dry. We get we get two weeks summer here in the UK normally. It's not great. Someone was, uh, well, it's not someone, the boys. The boys were talking. We're on um, the SD Logistics Convoy on Simulator's channel. Go check him out. And uh, it was brought up like there's people are sort of thinking within the community, especially in the modern community and stuff like that, people who know a lot more about the game than I myself do. Um, they, it could be possible or not too far away of a possibility to add like seasons into this game so like you, for, uh, as a time of year you get snow or a time of year you get better weather and, and stuff like that that would be absolutely amazing I would love that so much <laughs> that would add even more to it to have an act because we have the days anyway so just build on that week to add in months and then obviously link weather to it that would be awesome that would be sick. I'd love that. I love anything that brings in a little bit more realism to the game. I don't necessarily play and drive realistically, but I like the game to be as realistic as possible. That's for certain. Oh, curved it a little bit. thing that did surprise me during um, the uh, the stream last Sunday was that I only had was it two two red light incidents they only got speed caught speed them once and um, we we almost had a horrific accident got saved it it's so much harder trying to do this and so I take conversation with chat trying to read chat it's just <laughs> oh dear Adds to it, adds to it. But if you're watching this and you are enjoying it, and you're intrigued as to what maybe happens in a live stream, or in any of my other content, by all means, subscribe and turn the bell notification on. Find out when we're going live and when, uh, when new content is uh, dropping. Is he letting me out? I think he is. Top dog, top dog. Never feel like my lights are really lighting anything up. They're on. Because obviously they're on. It just seems really, really dimly lit. I'm gonna stay in the middle. There's no doubt we're gonna get another, yeah, another one, another weird junction. I want this. This is what I want fixed. <laughs> we don't have junctions like that. Not that I've ever recalled. Don't have junctions like that in the UK. That's still a pro mod. That's a pro mod. Not pro mods, That's a, an SCS junction. That's not a pro mods one. And we're going a bit quick, and we're struggling in the wet. Ooh. Want the time to uh, sort out some new boots for the girl. I have to check the tyres. I'm going to have to come over. It's a good job it did have that extra... extra lane there. Look at that, we are struggling. <laughs> and that's a 45. 
struggle to stay in my lane. But with having decreased stability to make it feel a little bit more real. I don't have the confidence to just swing my truck around a corner anymore. I need to go test the limits on my other profile. <laughs> Come on, fella. So I think we are coming up on us. Ooh, forty five minutes away, thirty miles. Fingers crossed on a, a friendly park. Nothing too challenging, please and thank you. We're running with the uh, the the uh, the mod, the icons mod. I think it's called icons mod. So we've not got the uh, the big flashing bits. We have to go and find little little etchings. Anything to remove a bit of HUD. They're not always easy to see. But I struggled to find a few when we were doing the live stream. fair bit of speed there. Now some of the guys when we were on, on convoy the other night were talking about having the uh, the automatic braking the it's electronic braking so when you take your foot off your truck automatically starts to brake I'm wondering whether to activate that as well because they, they say it's really good and that they wouldn't drive without it sometimes so I might look to add that in Sort of in the wrong lane now, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with the the vehicle on my inside. I'll let you go round, sir. Take it a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. 
we are here. I bet this is in a an awful position. Where's it gonna want me to go? That's not the worst, that's for certain. Trying to get the truck in position. I am going to go out of cab though, just so it's not an, a complete nightmare. There we are. Sorted. Right. Engine off. Unload. Grapes delivered from Plymouth to Portsmouth. That's 295 miles, eight and a half hours, and that's 23 grand in our pocket. And I think we've leveled up. We have. So where are we going to put it? Well, I think fragile, because we don't want to do this just in time delivery stuff. So we'll put it on fragile. But that is it. We are up to 227 grand in the bank again, which is awesome. Our drivers are bringing in a, a fair old wage. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. A massive thank you to everyone that is watching the series, watching the other videos. The support has been great. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.